We do this complex to work on shoulder flexibility because in the past we've had kids with stress fractures in their back because their shoulder flexibility was poor. So we try to loosen up every single day before we do beam to help with series and back problems. And then we flex our feet just to mix it up. Push your shoulders out. Uh, put your head neutral. Uh, my personal philosophy about beam and regionals is you either have it or you don't. Um, I know that sounds kind of intense, but at this point, like I said, these kids have been doing routines all season long. Uh, we're trying to mix it up on beam and get them out of their comfort zone as much as we can, because as you know, when you get to regionals, the number one challenge is nerves and basically knowing that in region five, you have to hit in order to go to nationals. Remember, go fast on the connections, quick. Okay, okay, ready? Susie. Like I said, we'll do cold sets where we don't warm up. I have a gymnast who hasn't really hit her beam routine the way that I think she can this season. So every single day, she shows a cold set until she has it. And then once she hits a cold set the way I think it needs to be done in terms of really looking confident and aggressive, I won't have her show any more cold sets so that the last routine she remembers showing going into regionals is the one that she rocks. You got it, Sally. That's it. Okay. The connections on the leaps and jumps were better. Work the rhythm. Everything should flow right into the next skill. Sharper, Haley. That's better. I can't make this better. Okay, that's what they all say. That's it, Abby. Try to stick that, though. Every tenth is going to help. Yeah, right part. Oh, Ito for the stick. Whoa. Okay. Work your dance, Leah. Good, Skyla. I just want them to walk away with the feeling that they did the best that they can, and then it's in the judge's hands. Sagging, put your shoulders taller. Okay, make sure that even though you are in a mad, you show you show extension of the, of the uh, resi. Well, we did like five minutes of basics, just trying to work on the uh, approach onto the springboard as well as the approach onto the table, making sure that shoulders are open and tight for a uh, when they perform the vault. Good. and trying to focus a little more on basics, technique, you know, keeping the kids as fresh and as healthy as possible. We did like three sets of uh, spots on layouts onto the big resi. And also today we vaulted onto the soft mat. Like I said, the goal is just trying to uh, decrease the intensity and trying to focus a little more on being as consistent as possible. Hips are rolling, okay? I want to skip tighter. tighter. Yes. Open your hips, tight. Press hard. Press. Arms can move a little faster. Okay, Heidi, let's go twist. Everybody come and see me. Okay, the back handspring we're doing over here. Put your shoulders a little taller. Back handspring comes a little soft. Okay. Hips 
in the end, in the end, you're pulling your chest down, bring your chest up, make sure that you, when you, when you bring your arms down, when you bring your arms around, make sure that you're not dropping your chest, because that's forcing you to pike. Okay, that was better. Arms up. Okay, good job, Lucy. You can go, get ready to go, Mars. All right, let's go, Skyla. Flat on the handstand. Press tall, tight, arch. Hold the shape, open. You're still piking under this mountain. Okay. Press tall. And trying to work more on hitting the handstands and working on the landings. So we do three sets of second parts, just like trying to make sure that the handstand is all the way up. The, uh, the connection as far as the uh, seat C, the free hip and the lower back is going to get credit for it. Be patient, press, short. You're kicking out a little early. Then from there we go on to first parts. I like spot them two, three times. Uh, first with the uh, with the black, trying to maximize the tension on the bales and trying to make it as safe and as clean as it can be. Hit the hands then, go. Fast hands, one, two. Go, push. Two for two. Push. Nice feet. Good. Round, round, tight. Nice feet. Go. Around. Up. Go. Hold the shape, Haley. Stop it, man. There you go. Coming down with your stomach. Forward, hold the shape a little longer. Let your toes go down to the floor a little faster. You can pull you back a little quicker to the high bar. Run your back, Haley. Shape. Push, Shami. Short. Spot the bar, yeah. Tight, slow. Feet, feet. Man all the way to the top, yeah. Man strong. Behind. Gotta be careful with the handstand. You're not hitting the handstand all the way up. You're still a little early. You're worrying so much on the dismount that you are not allowed to finish first, then push back. It's not about doing quantity, but quality and consistency. Good. That's it. Uh, do a back pike and point your feet in the resi. Hold. No, hold still. Okay. Hold the landing. Yeah, if you pike and then open more, you won't take a gigantic step forward. Okay, who's ready for routines? Let's go. That's better. Let's go, Haley. Hold it. Go easy. Stay with the music. So 
Slow down, slow down. Be sh sharp on this part. Let's go, Abby. Stay with the music. Feet together, feet, close your feet. Paying attention to details. At this point in the season, all of the kids have their major elements, they have their connections. We're not making any changes to routines. So the main goal for the weeks leading up to regionals is just, like I said, details, toe point, extension on glides, um, being as artistic as you can on floor, being entertaining, holding the judge's attention. Stay with the music! Smile at Chapo! Smile! Let's go, Ido! Hold it. Lean to the side more so it's dramatic lean. Better. Slow. Come on, feet together. Hold still. Breathe here. Up, chest. That's it. Because as a judge, I know that when you've looked at 11 sessions of floor routines, sometimes they can get old and you want the kids to seem excited and energetic um, when they're performing. So we're really just concentrating on those things. Chapo's going to show you his floor routine. He's amazing. He's in our pre-elite hopes group, Chapo is. Isn't he precious? Oh, he's so precious. So the kids are ready, they've been working hard, they've been doing well, and, but nevertheless we can always, you know, trying to find uh, room to improve. But it's not about the gymnastics at regionals, it's about the mindset, it's about the attitude, it's about the confidence level, um, and the most confident kids are the ones who end up going.